Luca, the Italiano. Yes, it's me. I'm guilty. You, I'll let you say your last name. Master Antonio. It's pretty hard. I mean, every time when the speaker tries to oh, say my name during games, it's sometimes... We all botch. Yeah. yeah. Something different That's comes out every try. time. Yeah, okay. it's fine. It's fine. Let, let me do it. How about the middle name? Uh, I don't have one. We, okay. They're not really common in Italy, honestly. Here in the States, everybody has one, but okay. I don't. Just chose one name for me. You're like Beyonce, just one name. <laughs> yeah, I can say I'm like Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> is Luca the full first name? Yeah. Or is that short? Okay. Yeah, no, 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 it's just. Okay, so say, first it, name. And say it all together. Luca Mastrantonio. That's got a good name. Yeah. Much more convincing than I would have said it. So, what can you say in Italian for us? Uh, a, little, a little lesson. Okay, on. first Italian I'm gonna say it in English okay. and then I'm gonna translate it in Italian, so okay. at least you know what I'm talking about. Great. Oggi è una bella giornata qua in Irvine, ho finito le lezioni e adesso abbiamo un nice walk and talk I know Christine. One thing. <laughs> Oggi è una bella giornata in Irvine, soleggiato come sempre. Uh, it means uh, today it's a nice day in Irvine, always sunny and uh, also I finished my class and now we're having a nice walk and talk. Me and you, Christine. Perfect. So yeah. Where in Italy are you from? Uh, from Rome capital and there's a lot of traffic it's almost like a lake chaotic as LA but maybe a bit less than LA LA is so much ongoing but which is better LA or Rome oh that's a tough one but, really uh, I think everyone here would say Rome that's a tough one but I'm enjoying my time okay let's say I'm enjoying my time here in California yeah. and uh, but home it's home yeah Bro, I would say Rome. I would say Rome in the end. When you go home and visit, what do you do? I don't get to spend a lot of time with my parents, of course. They're uh, still there. While I'm here, yeah. So I try to stay with them as much as possible and see my friends as much as possible. Uh, my parents wanted to come this summer, but they had some issues, so they didn't manage uh, to come. My father, most of it, because he really wants to see me play. He's been watching me playing since I was a kid, so I still have another year, so eventually it'll come. What does your family think of the Italian cuisine in America? Um, as an Italian, like kitchen, cuisine, it's my culture, you know, yeah. and uh, even I, I don't see it in Americans sorry here, but for me it's like a really important thing. Right. Uh, it seems funny, it's a stereotype thing that, of course, Italians love pasta, pizza and like uh, cooking, but yeah, it's, 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 it's how we're born. So if we were to travel to Rome and your family was to make a dish, what would they make? There are some types of pasta that are like really typical from Rome. Yeah. Uh, they will probably make you that to make you feel at home and like try to make you into more of the culture, the Roman culture, so what yeah. What is it? What's in the dish? Amatriciana, carbonara, then of course pizza, whatever type you like. Uh, but yeah, I would say if you go to Rome for your first time, you for sure need to try these things. Okay. These tattoos you have? Yes. Do you want to share with us what they mean? Oh, this one is my father. That's of him. He was a boxer many years ago he he's been with the national team as well and he went to the olympics in mexico many years ago and uh nothing it's this is for him this really doesn't have a meaning honestly i just thought it was cool but it's like the cap yeah. permanent captain yeah band. exactly i've got two two captain bands basically so yeah <laughs> how'd you end up in the states how did i end up in the states not a lot of people in italy do what i'm doing right. here uh i'm proud of myself uh but i did it because in Italy, you can't really bound soccer and studying at the same time. While I knew that here there's a big culture of the student athlete yep. itself. So a thing that you can put studying and playing professional at the same time. Like, I thought it was amazing and I had to try it. So here I am right now in California, one of the best universities in the United States and playing, doing what I like. So can be more happy than, than I am right now. What are you studying? I'm studying business economics. Uh, I'm trying to minor in computer science. It's being pretty hard so far, but well, I'm really tempted in between the two. I will try to play soccer as much as I can, of right. course, but I think the working world is what I'm really gonna end up with, like experiencing. How's the team now? 
Well, the team, we had a really tough schedule this year, which I really like because it prepared us really well for conference. We're a young team, we had a lot of freshmen incoming, so it was hard to adapt to the college environment. And uh, for me as well, because I haven't been playing last year that much. So now we're doing pretty good. We're first in the conference and we got our last game, last home game uh, on Saturday and hope to win this conference again for the second year straight. What is the environment like on your team in the locker room? How close are you guys? We're really close. I didn't expect that uh, also because like there's a big mix of age since there's this big gap between freshmen and uh, upperclassmen, but uh, we bonded really well and that's what's key in the end for uh, a successful team, I think. Like the bonding inside the team, the locker room, that's holy, if I can say that. We're, we're a good team. I'm, I'm enjoying my time so far. Thank you so much for coming on the walk and talking. Thank you Go for inviting me. On Saturday. Yeah, we yes, are. Good luck.